folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're going to be making a delicious, all-natural, homemade chocolate syrup. Now, this is really easy to make. You need a cup and a half of sugar, a cup of water, a cup of cocoa, a little vanilla, and just a pinch of salt. I have about an eighth of a teaspoon here. So let's get this started. We're going to start with our water and our sugar, and we're going to turn that on medium. And we're going to heat it until it gets hot and the sugar's all dissolved. And then we'll add in our cocoa and our salt. Now, this syrup will replace that bottle of Hershey's syrup that you have in your refrigerator. Um, if you're trying to eat better and get rid of the high fructose corn syrup and a lot of the other additives in your food and toxic substances, you know that that Hershey's syrup has high fructose corn syrup in it. I don't know why in the world Hershey's would do that. They don't have it in their candy bars and a lot of their other products but it is in their chocolate syrup. And this will work for chocolate milk, hot chocolate, and ice cream topping, um, in all those fancy coffee drinks that everybody loves, drizzled over cakes and pies and cookies and things like that. Just anywhere where you would use chocolate syrup, this will work. And I am using Hershey's cocoa in this, so like I said, I wish they'd get the high fructose corn syrup out. Maybe we can all go on their Facebook page and complain about it. That actually does work, believe it or not. And this is going to take just a few minutes. Um, we have to heat it until it starts to simmer. And then we're going to let it simmer for about three minutes, maybe a little bit longer until it starts to get thick. And it won't completely thicken until it cools. Okay, I'm starting to see a few bubbles in the bottom of my pan, so I'm going to go ahead and add my cocoa now. And my salt. And this is just a pinch of salt. But it does need it. It won't taste right without it. At this point, you want to um, kind of stir it constantly because it will scorch if you don't. The sugar and the chocolate will both scorch. I'm at a full boil now, so I'm going to turn it down and keep cooking it for just a couple of minutes to let it get thick. I've had this simmering for about three or four minutes now, and you can see it's just barely simmering. You have to actually look for the bubbles. And you do want to make sure when it hits that boiling point that you turn it down. Because if you let it get too hot, it will actually turn into a hard chocolate candy. And that's not going to be very good in your chocolate milk or your coffee or anything. I suppose you could bust it up and eat it. but it, And it is thickening. You can see it's sticking to the edge of my pan. Um, and it will continue to get thicker as it cools. So we're just going to turn it off now. Move it off the heat. And I'm going to add my vanilla. At least a teaspoon. You can add a little more if you want. It's kind of what you like. And I always add a little extra vanilla. And once this cools for a few minutes, you want to put it in a plastic jar of some kind. You can even use your old Hershey syrup bottle if you still have it. Just wash it out and then you can put this in it. 
Um, you can buy little bottles, these little plain ones, or you can get the ones that are like ketchup and mustard bottles. It doesn't matter. Just any kind of little plastic bottle that you can put it in that'll seal up that you can put in the refrigerator. But you do want to let it cool before you pour it in that because it'll melt the bottle. Um, this will keep in your refrigerator probably much longer than it will last. It'll be gone before it spoils. All the sugar in it is a really good preservative. So you don't really need to worry about it going bad. If it starts to turn colors, I would throw it out. Um, but you could definitely keep it a couple of months. I mean, Hershey syrup, I think it has a date on it of two or three years. I don't know that I would keep this that long, but because the flavor is gonna fade, it's not gonna be as good. But a couple of months is definitely not out of the question. And like I said, it probably won't last that long anyway. My syrup has been cooling for about 10 minutes now. So I think it's cool enough to go ahead and put it in my jars. And you can see that it is pretty thick and it will keep getting thicker as it cools, especially once I put it in the refrigerator. It's definitely as thick as the bottled Hershey syrup. And you can keep it, like I said, for a couple of months so go ahead and mix up a batch and the next time you're in the mood for a really chocolatey treat you won't have to reach for that high fructose corn syrup filled bottle of Hershey's. You'll have it on hand and you don't have to feel bad about giving it to kids because it is all natural. I think we should try some said it does make a really good ice cream topping and I actually skipped breakfast this morning I know I've been standing here talking about healthy eating oh let's see mm. that's good that's better than any fudge sundae I've ever had anywhere I think if you're trying to eat healthier, but you still want a special sweet treat from time to time, this is one of those recipes that you really have to try. And thanks for joining us again in the Hillbilly Kitchen. Don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave, and we'll see you next time.